What it do guys, bring you a cooking video again, yeah, this time you already know the title of the video, it's how to cook an acorn squash, what is an acorn squash, probably some of you maybe have never even seen an acorn squash before, but I'm going to show you the best way that I like to have my acorn squash cooked. So for those of you that don't have a clue what an acorn squash is, it is basically this nifty acorn-like object here. This is what it looks like. It pretty much resembles an acorn. They are small, yes, but they are very delicious. And... I'm going to tell you how to cook these. This is the way my mom has always cooked them for me. And they have turned out amazing. It may take some trial and error for you guys, depending on your stove and stuff. Because a lot of these newer stoves are preheating stoves. I have a dinosaur stove. This is the one that has the old uh, wire um, thing on it. There's no preheating, I guess you could say, <laughs> to um, the oven. Whereas the newer models, the newer models, like the glass top ones or smart ones or whatever, probably have this thing where they preheat to a temperature that you're going to need. What you are going to need, and I'm going to fill you in with that, is you're going to need a pan, okay? To put this in, you're going to need some water as well. Now, obviously, you want to use a pan that this is going to fit in. And then you'll have plenty of room, you know, to uh, grab and hold and all that stuff. You're going to need a pan. You're going to need to pit, fill the pan with water. Just enough water that it will pretty much cover the side of like around the side like the middle part of the acorn squash we're going to cut this thing in half and these things are tricky as heck to cut in half because they are hard as a rock and i'm going to try to cut it in half for you as best as i can it's tricky so that being said you're going to need a knife a really sharp knife that you can cut this with you're going to need a pan you're going to need to fill it with water and you're going to need to set your your oven to a temperature of 400 for one hour it's preheated wait for the temperature to come up to 400 once it comes up to 400 then you are good to go to put it in the oven for one hour you might want to check it you want to make sure that this is mushy so you take a fork and you check it and if it's mushy then it's ready you put a little salt and pepper on it and some butter inside of it because when you cut it in half, it's going to be kind of like an avocado in a way. It'll have, it should have a hole in it. You're going to have to get these seeds out of it too because it has like seeds inside of it too. You'll have to scrape out. With that being said, hopefully I've covered everything. You're going to need salt, pepper, um, some butter if you like butter, and a pan deep enough that this can submerge in. Probably um, maybe cover the whole thing might be a good idea too. I don't know. I probably am just going to go with filling it to the middle part of the acorn squash right there and putting it in for an hour so i'm going to cut this thing in half dig out the seeds and we'll go from there okay so if there's one thing i learned over the over the two years i've worked at the grocery store always wash your veggies and if you want to know why you should wash your veggies feel free to ask me do a follow-up video on that and I will explain to you why you should do that. Alright, so um this is this is a little tricky process. We have to cut this in half with a really sharp knife and I don't have much working space, so I'm gonna try to do this and luckily with the power of editing a software I can edit this part out. Break them in half like that. Now there's your innards. Looks a little, a little rotten up at the top there. I didn't look like that was too good of a squash at all. So this one might not be too delicious at all. I'm going to take it over here to where my clean dishes are. And 
scoop out these seeds. All right, so this here, this here is the acorn squash, and I think I'm only gonna be able to go with just the one squash, sadly, because the other one looks pretty bad, and I had a scrape, so there's not gonna be very really much of this acorn squash here to really do, but we're gonna take him face down the opening, the hole like this, submerge it in water, just like that. And then we're gonna put it in the in the uh the oven here. You might be able to see that up there, maybe. Hopefully my focus was right. Um four hundred degrees. I don't know if you can see that. I apologize, I had it zoomed in and all, so it might be a little too close or something, but hopefully not. If not, I had to redo a video. I'll go ahead and put this in the oven for an hour and then I'll show you what to do uh, after an hour so be right back alright so I still have about eight minutes left on that hour cooking of that acorn squash I believe this thing is done you guys definitely want to double check your acorn squashes to make sure that you don't overcook them um, but anyways I'm gonna cancel this one right here I put it in for, oh, you know, about an hour. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get, well, attempt to get this acorn squash out of the oven. Be very careful when you do this because this is obviously dangerous. You can get seriously burned by the hot water depending on how much water you put in the pan. You don't want to let this water right here cool down um, before you dump it in your sink. So all you really have to do is try to get this squash out without it falling apart because this thing is this thing is super mushy right now and it will literally fall apart probably if you've cooked it right if it's not still hard. So. I'm gonna uh, be right just back in a second here. Let's see, that's nice and s a little hard right there. Pretty mushy there. So it's pretty, pretty good, and except for the rotten areas there. So we'll go ahead and stick uh, the acorn squash here like that. Stick a little bit. I'm gonna try to flip him over real quick like that. Try to get the water out because you don't want to have a whole bunch of water in there. I got most of the water out, I think. All right, we're gonna take some butter. Just some butter. Probably hit you know, copyright infringements for that butter. Ain't got much left in that. Go ahead and scoop a little bit of this here butter out. Throw it in there like that. More butter, probably need more butter for a bigger acorn squash, but this one's a little, a little guy. So go ahead and mix that around in there. You want to let this mix this all up in there. Let's grab ourselves a little bit of salt, a little bit of salt on there, like that. We'll grab ourselves a little bit of pepper. Not much left. My fiance is probably going to have to get some more pepper. Itchy nose, that pepper's set my nose off already. Alright. There we have it. Acorn squash. I'm going to sample this here. Uh, acorn squash, which you guys can't really see here. Let's see if I could tilt it. Uh, uh. Mm. Maybe you can see that. I'm looking at my phone to see if you can see that squash. Okay, it's a little dark. Can't see. Very hot. Salt, pepper on it. Butter. Put it in the oven for, oh, I still had eight minutes left on it and still, it was still ready. You might have to have higher, um, longer, longer time if it's, um, a bigger acorn squash. Here we go. 
Yeah. That's definitely good, man. Um. Mm hmm. Perfect. Perfect in everything. Um. Even though it was a rotten squash, it was not too bad. No. It was bad. It was ready. And it's very good. I mean, it's mushy. I mean, it's. You know, if you guys can see that or not, bring it up close to you. It's about as close as I can get it. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, that's my video on acorn squash cooking.